Hey friends, this is Jibesh and I welcome you back to my channel Bio Professional. So this video is going to be the fourth video of the series. Actually, I have discussed 30 questions in three different videos. Okay. So if I complete this video out of 50 questions in paper one, 40 will be over. Okay. So actually we are discussing the slat 2021 paper one. Okay. So let's start with a paragraph. Let me just read out. Not only does the lack of education among the women make the dissemination, dissemination meaning the spreading of something, of nutrition education difficult, it appears to be a major obstacle to campaigns for family planning. So this uh, paragraph is basically about family planning. Okay, It is significant that one of the most successful family planning efforts has been in Korea. So name of the country is Korea where literacy is over 80%. Okay. Thailand, Singapore, Hong Kong, Taiwan have also had more satisfactory results. So these are, you know, different name of the countries, Singapore, Hong Kong, Taiwan. Okay. Results then, for example, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Bangladesh, India or Indonesia where a large proportion of the female population is illiterate clear the educational level of women is significant also because it has a direct impact on their chances of employment and the number of and the number and percentage of the employed women in a country's total labor force has a direct bearing on both the gross national product that is the gnp the gnp is gross national product and the disposable income of the individual family in our country kerala and mizoram have achieved 10% literacy okay 10% means 100% literacy is there in uh, two states these are kerala and mizoram but bihar jharkhand and rajasthan are lagging far behind in spite of the best and ever initiated by hrd hrd human resource development ministry through the governments concerned and the ngos okay let us now see the questions the first question Korea has been successful in family planning because the Korean women are so Korean women are well educated okay they are well educated and they literate enough to understand its significance so uh, in my opinion uh, this can also be true this can also be true well educated okay they, they are well educated and this option is also to literate enough to understand its significance means about the family planning and all so now we have to wait for you know select commission for their you know proper option but for me uh, this and this option both can be true okay next the countries where family planning programs have been satisfactory are okay they have given name already so we have you know korea korea then we have uh, thailand singapore hong kong and taiwan so Taiwan, Hong Kong, Korea, Thailand, and Singapore. So this option is correct. So option D is correct. Clear? Next. According to the passage, lack of education among women has a direct bearing on. Okay. Has a direct bearing on. So if I study from this, okay, here, the educational level of women is significant because it has a direct impact on their chances of employment okay their chances of employment and the number and percentage of the employed women in the country's total labor force has a direct bearing on both the gnp and disposable income okay so many students may think that this is the answer but uh, this is not the answer because along with the gnp a disposable income of the individual family is also there so the answer will be this uh, her chances of getting an elite job so if a woman gets a job and of course along with this job GNP as uh, and along with the disposable income of the family uh, also increases okay so uh, this option is correct next one of the most disadvantages of the lack of education among women is that they yeah see 
do not know how to cook and the value of nutritious food this cannot be answer okay cannot earn more money no cannot communicate with outsider well this is also not the answer so only option left is this cannot persuaded to plan their family so actually this paragraph is uh, about the family planning so this is a correct answer next communication normally means okay establishment of a common understanding through transfer of meaning from one person to another okay this is correct next stimulation of common symbols in various minds through symbolic interaction so okay symbol interaction is also a part of communication so it can also be true creation of meaning in others through stimulus response activity so this can also be true so option d is correct because all the above three options are correct okay next an inference anumana actually uh, this is a sanskrit word so this is a sanskrit word consists of this is called this is also a sanskrit word avyavas so it it actually consists of five five avyavas so avyavas means component english meaning is component this is a sanskrit word component okay so uh, actually there are five components uh, the proposition the ground illustration application and conclusion okay so option c is correct next consider the following conversation okay ritam okay ritam i just heard that julie had failed in her annual examination okay neha that cannot be true her class attendance is more than 90 percent so ritam is saying that uh, julie had failed in her annual examination and neha is saying that that cannot be true her class attendance is more than 90 percent so we have given you know four options neha knows that ritam is a liar so this cannot be true how can neha uh, knows ritam is a liar it cannot be true next Ritam knows that Julie has actually failed in her annual examination. So Ritam, he he doesn't know actually. He had he had heard. So so it can also it cannot be true. Next, Niha assumes that whoever is regular in class cannot fail in the examination. So uh, this is going to be the correct answer because Niha thinks that. It cannot be true her class attendance is more than 90%. Okay. More than 90% means Niha assumes that whoever is, you know, uh, regular in class cannot fail in the examination. So option C is, is a correct option. Next. A number of things that can go wrong in research and hence there is need for wisdom to know the right time quit. This is not the answer. Sympathetic supervisor, okay, this is not also not the answer. The emergency source of finance, it cannot be the answer. So only option left is flexibility and perseverance. So this is the most appropriate option. Next, the teacher's role in an institute of higher education is to provide information to students, okay, promote self-learning among students, okay, it is also correct help students to solve their personal problems so in one percent of the cases it can be true like uh, in in many of the cases uh, teachers can give some you know uh, advice to students to for their personal problem but uh, in an overall in a generalization manner we cannot take this point okay next encourage cutthroat competition among students no this cannot be the answer so option left is one and two so C is the correct option. Next, theory or research which comes first. Okay. So there is a difference between you know theory or research. Actually, we have two things. One is theory and one is hypothesis. One is theory and one is hypothesis. Hypothesis. So next, hypothesis, we can you know predict something that this can be the probable, you know way that one process is taking place this is the hypothesis before doing a research we can give a hypothesis but theory we cannot give a theory without 
proper data. So we must have satisfactory data or the supporting data to to call it as a theory. Means theory is you know, a definite thing. Okay, and hypothesis can be true or can be wrong. After having a research, we can we have to conclude. So, so it's research. Research comes first because it is the only way that can develop a theory. So option B is a correct option. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you like my way of explanation. If you like, then please do subscribe to my channel. Share this channel link with your friends so that we can grow together.